Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, I've got some giant stories, starting with the resurrection of AMD's Project Quantum, 400 series board support update, three new AMD vulnerabilities, a new Ryzen 5000 CPU, and AMD's 6-core Ryzen 5600X beats Intel's 8-core at gaming? Okay, it's new time, and first up for today, AMD's Project Quantum was just spotted in a new patent, which is a big deal. For those who don't know, AMD originally announced their Project Quantum way back in 2015, and it was set to be AMD's custom small form factor PC, similar to Intel's NUC line. Well, we last heard about it years ago, when AMD more or less claimed it was just a concept that wouldn't come straight to market. Personally, I think it was because at the time, Project Quantum literally used an Intel CPU, as AMD simply didn't have anything to compete. Of course, that's now changed, and with it comes a new patent dated September 15th of this year. Ultimately, the design hasn't changed much, but clearly AMD isn't done with Project Quantum, and it's yet another space the company could plan to compete in. Now, if you love tech as much as I do, why not dive deeper with today's sponsor? Brilliant! the website and app that makes learning math, science, and computer science fun. See, they teach you based on problem solving and active learning. That means seeing the concepts and actually interacting with them. Not only that, but the courses are broken into small sections, so you're able to go over them a little at a time. And they've got tons of courses, with more being added all the time. From machine learning to quantum computing and even cryptocurrency, Brilliant has something for beginners and experts alike. So don't wait. Learn the deeper side of tech at brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off your annual premium today. Next up for today, a rumor recently began circulating that claimed Zeus wouldn't be supporting AMD's Ryzen 5000 series on their 400 series boards. That rumor, or really more of a fairly substantiated claim, originally comes from this Reddit post, where the user asked ASUS support whether they plan to provide support for Ryzen 5000 on their ROG Crosshair 7 Hero X470. In the reply, support claimed ASUS would not, and that they'd have to purchase the Crosshair 8. Well, if you saw that, fret not, as ASUS reached out to Tech Power Up and claimed that the information was incorrect. The customer service rep likely didn't have the new information on 400 board support. Remember that AMD changed it after quite a bit of backlash. Either way, both Asus's B450 and X470 boards will support the Ryzen 5000 series. As for when, Asus claims the updates will begin rolling out according to AMD's timeline, so January of next year. Next up for today, I've got a bit of bad news for AMD owners, as the company announced three different security vulnerabilities with their hardware in the last week. Luckily, AMD has already fixed two of them, and the third doesn't really seem to be a big issue. Either way, the vulnerabilities were found by AMD system collaborator Cisco Talos, and the first two that I'll go over affect AMD's graphics drivers. Ultimately, both seem to only result in a blue screen that can be fixed with a system restart. The vulnerability called Escape Handler can be triggered by a non-privileged account, but was fixed in their Software Journal in 2020 edition. The next vulnerability, called Create Allocation, has a fix planned for the first quarter of next year, and apparently requires a very specific API request. Lastly is a vulnerability in AMD's Ryzen Master that could allow users to gain system privileges, though it does require a non-privileged process to already be running on the system. Luckily, AMD issued a fix in their newest Ryzen Master. All in all, this is really just a reminder to keep your software up to date. Lastly for today, we have a huge story that not only gives us new information on a yet unannounced Ryzen 5000 CPU, but we also have some incredible performance numbers. So let's just get right to it. Starting things off, the report was originally found and shared by the fairly well-known leaker Hirokazi on Twitter. Now, he actually found the story from a Chinese publication, and according to the report, the Ryzen 5 5600 non-X variant is set for release by early next year, and it'll be priced at $220. Now, I personally think this is a really big deal. For one, it confirms AMD is planning to release non-X variants, and if you know anything about Ryzen, you know that the non-X variants can typically be overclocked to right around the same performance level as the X variants. That means you're able to get right at the same performance for less. And if the pricing rings true, that will more than compensate for the price increase from Ryzen 5000. With that said, it is $20 more than last gen's 3600 non-X part. 
Obviously that is still more, but it's a far cry from the $300 X variant. And given it can get close to the X variant's performance, I definitely say it's a great buy. Now, moving back to the original story, we have even bigger news. According to this story, AMD's Ryzen 5 5600X gets similar or even better performance than the i7-10700 in single-threaded performance and gaming. That's a 6-core part beating an 8-core part, meaning AMD's Ryzen 5000 series isn't just a little better than Intel's at gaming. If this is true, it's basically flipped everything on its head. And remember that AMD did all of this while on the same 7 nanometer node. So when they move to 5 nanometers, we'll likely see a similar performance uplift again. Now, with that said, Intel's i7 is just a bit over $300, so it's around the Ryzen 5600X's price. But that's what makes the non-X variant so important. Either way, at the end of the day, Intel has to be scrambling at this point. AMD has taken the one thing Intel had left. Let's just say that their new Rocket Lake core had better be good. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen CPUs or are you waiting for Intel's Rocket Lake? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!